Hey, good day, my YouTube friends. It's me, DJ zh 20 and I'm giving you an, another tutorial, or a, and that's not even a tutorial, it's an informational video pertaining to record box and crate hackers. Um, I had tried crate hackers before in the past, and I couldn't get it to work. And I don't think it was crate hackers, and I don't think it was me. It was a little bit of both because I did some investigating with them, and I was trying to make a playlist. They couldn't make it happen. I couldn't make it happen. So I said, you know what? Forget this. Um, after trying a few other things um, and getting that type of file from Crate Hackers into my computer and into Rekordbox, I figured out, aha, a light bulb goes up. Um, I figured out what I was doing wrong. The file is called an M3U8 file. It is not a regular MP3 file, although it will play like an MP3 file for you. Not for others, but just you because it's in your drive um, and you created it. So without further ado, let's take a look at what this thing is. It is Crate Hackers. Okay, so we got Crate Hackers, right? Let's pull it up. There it is. Let's pull. I, I don't think I got Crate Hackers up there. What's what's going on here? So let's. Is that. There it is. Okay, so now we got Crate Hackers, right? Let's open this thing up. As you see, I have 5,828 files, and it grows, and it grows, and it grows. It's going to grow again after I do this, and it will repopulate each time you add in a song. It'll say, oh, I see you added a song. Great. Boom. Um, if you add that song to one of your folders that you have in Crate Hackers, you may not have all your music in Crate Hackers. You may just have what you play, whatever. But follow Joe Bun, follow Aaron from Crate Hackers. They won't do you wrong in setting this up. They set it up perfectly. It sets up great. It doesn't take long. But um, you, you'll see what I'm saying. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna. I'm on this 1980s dance party thing. Okay. So let's go 1980s dance. Party and see what we got. Maybe there it is. Okay, so let's go here to dance party number seven. And uh, you see, I have a few of these files already. Over here, we have the cure close to me. And goodness. <laughs> Okay, so here's a song I don't have. What is Love by Howard Jones. Okay, so let's go to my handy dandy BPM Supreme, Howard Jones. Howard Jones has one track. And that's not it. I have the track he has from BPM Supreme, but that's not it. So let's go to Amazon Music. Howard Jones, okay. Let's, we got him right there. Howard Jones. Boop, boop, ba doop. Boop, boop, ba doop. And what is love? Yep. Okay. Hey, so if I wanted to, I could go over here and buy song, right? But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just trying to show you how to do this. So you see have lower confidence matches. Well, that just means that something has the same name. Like What is Love by Hathaway. What is love? Sorry about that. But that's not it. So Anyways, uh, we can go down here. We, we, you can see I have matches to all these songs. The Thompson Twins, Lay Hands On Me. Um, let's see. There, uh, Gina Thompson, Lewis Thompson, the Thompson Twins. Ah, oh, there is Thompson Twins. And they have uh, one song, Hold Me Now. And I have it. And that's not it. <laughs> so that's okay. 
Uh, we can go down this, the cure, why can't I be you? Because you can't be me because I am me. Anyways, we have this list. Um, the, uh, uh, the smithereens. I, you know what? It's BPM Supreme. We have the smithereens, one track. What is it? Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I don't think so. I don't think that's where, what we're looking for. We're looking for a, a, like like a girl like you. Nope. Uh, here's Tears for Fears. Change. Um, what do you think we give that a try? I, I'm going to try to get through this as fast as I can. Tears for Fears has 10 songs. And is the change and oh change right there. Is that it? Let's pull up crate hackers. Change. Okay. Um huh. It's right there. Let's let's give it a listen. Okay, okay. I'm gonna download it. And I download it, right? So I've got change from, from them. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go to my downloads. I keep my music in two spots. So you have to forgive me real quick. I'm going to put this where it belongs. Otherwise, I'll forget. Tears for Fears goes in the 80s folder because that's where I know it goes. And I have an external drive that I use uh, for my music. And then I have a DJ folder for all my DJ music. So And I go by decades. So that's the 80s. So now... If you see this, we can go to local file because it hasn't been added. And we go to there. We go to the 80s. And Tears for Fears. We'll go down his list real quick. Because I don't want this video to be too long. I, I just want you to get the idea. And you can get most of this from um, Tears for Fears Change. There it is, right there. I open and it came here on the bottom but yes that's it so now um what songs you rebel yell by david billy idol and that's david bowie rebel rebel oh rebel rebel not okay anyways um if you see just can't get enough depeche mode depeche mode just can't get enough it was named differently in a different folder so that's why they both came up so um the Clash, London is calling. I doubt it. Peter Murphy cuts you up. I, I, you know, the police can't can't stand losing. Let's look for the police one time. I, I know they had a few songs here. Twelve tracks. And if you go to the originals, that's where we're trying to go. Uh, can't stand losing you by the police and. And there it is, first song. What about, hey, look at there. Let's give it a listen. Okay, okay. So, again, we got a song from where we had the police. We're going to go back down here, drop this thing where it goes. Let's get back up here to the 80s. I don't want to put it somewhere where it doesn't. I don't want to put it in my Latin folder. Be playing the police at a Latin wedding. That wouldn't be cool. All right. So we got it. We're, we're going to stop playing with this now. Because, <laughs> you know, I'll be here all day. Um, the police. Is that what it was? The police can't yeah, can't stand okay. So there we go. Now it's gonna now it's in there, it's great. Blah blah. 30 songs, right? So what you do is now that you got your list made, you need to go and you need to make a folder for it. I have a folder called Crate Hackers. Okay. And in my folder here, you can see I have these songs. So I made it a, um, a folder called let me get rid of this one because I know I'll show you how this works. I made a folder called Dance Party, right? From Crate Hackers, Dance Party 7. 
export to record box it wants you to go to a folder so go to my folder or go to wherever you got your crate hackers folder or your folder dance party 7 that's the folder i'm going to select that folder i just added that playlist this playlist is now in crate hackers or is in my folders and i could probably go down here and look and go to crate hackers there's great <laughs> look at it. there's nothing there and i could probably go down here and 1980s party seven there's nothing that you know why it's it's not there even though it's it's not even here because i haven't added it so let me go add it import we're going to go to import import playlist because that's what it is it's a playlist so it's going into your playlist 1980s dance party see it's an mp3 file but it's not it's an m3u8 file open dance party 7 boom there it is i just got all those songs right here some of them i i need to analyze analyze that track okay boom there it is it's in the folder now Again, let me show you something though. Look over here to the side. Crate Hackers. 1980s Dance Party. There's nothing there because this is an M3U8 file. It's not an MP3. And you can't put that list over here in your where your, your music is, my explore for music. It's not there. So don't look for it there. You have to make it a playlist. If you want. You can get rid of that playlist. Let's get rid of playlist. This this number nine, okay? Dance party playlist number nine. If I delete that playlist, it's gone, right? If I go back to my party, go back to here, there's the folder. I can import that. So if I go back to file, import, import playlist. number nine there's the file open up and it's going to show up here at the bottom there it is that's it it's that simple and and all your cue points if you have cue points on these songs like i have this from madonna see my cue points here those cue points will stay because it came from your original files that's what crate hackers did that's all they did so uh there's your party mix that's it that's that's how crate hackers works um it's very simple it's very easy um if you have any questions go ahead and ask me down below it's this is just for record box it is not for anything else i didn't do serato i didn't do virtual dj i just did record box that's what i've been working with for the last few years so all you record box people this is it and that's that simple if you if you're wondering how to do crate hackers uh, is it worth it um guys i've had it for a couple weeks now and i have created these lists and they're great i mean because i have a wedding coming up for some older couples and i want some 80s music for them so because they're about my age <laughs> they're old so hey they're gonna have a good time i'm gonna get some wedding mixes too if you um didn't notice there are some wedding folders in there let's go back to that real quick um let's go back here okay okay so you see this i want to show you something there is a wedding folder list and in this wedding folder list see this guy right here his name's jason janai i'm sure you've heard of him and he created this playlist and this playlist is one that he created and used so uh <laughs> you know i grabbed it right okay i'm just saying uh way to go jason janai um but that's it my friends um if you have any questions like i said uh i'm i'll be happy to answer what i can i am not an expert on crate hackers uh, i am not an expert on record box i'm just trying to show you how to do this if there's anything i can help you with i'd be you know throw your comments down there give me a like subscribe to my channel i i do all kinds of informative videos and um, I always say the same thing. Be well, be safe, and always listen to the music. Have a good day.